Hello and welcome to SolidWorks. My name is Ruxi and this is a set of videos designed to help you prepare for a drone competition. Drones have been around for a while now. They come in different shapes and sizes and they serve multiple purposes. From carrying and delivering objects to assisting with search and rescue in an emergency, monitoring crops, aerial photography and many others. Because they are so versatile, the industry is growing rapidly. Student competitions are a catalyst for innovation, encouraging students to build drones from scratch and incentivizing them with thousands of dollars in prizes. The Association for Unmanned Vehicle Systems International has several such competitions, plus an underwater version called RoboSAB. Other organizations, such as the American Society of Mechanical Engineers, organize drone competitions regularly or as a theme of more general competitions. All of these contests have something in common. They want you to build a flying little robot that can perform a series of tasks, such as taking off, passing through gates, carrying and dropping objects, hitting targets, and landing safely. And why is that so important? Because the more innovative the idea, the more chances are it will be implemented and used in real life. In the next video, I will talk about the various ways in which you can use SolidWorks to build your drone efficiently without spending too much money on prototypes. Parrot's Bebop drone, which you have seen throughout this video, will serve as my model. From testing a component's resistance to loads, to designing and modeling the propellers, and everything in between. These insights should help you build a competitive drone. Feel free to give any feedback in the comment section. And as always, follow us on YouTube, Facebook, and our other social media platforms.